are remarkable animals known for their specialized abilities for life underground. The eastern mole is the most common and abundant mole in Kentucky. Generally speaking, moles play a beneficial role in the management of soil and control of grubs and insects. Unfortunately, it is the manner in which they move through the soil, creating both shallow and deep tunnels, that makes the mole a nuisance in lawns and gardens. Moles must be very active to meet high energy requirements, and this activity equals surface burrows. High energy mole food comes as grubs, earthworms, insects and insect larvae, snails and spiders. Moles eat small amounts of plant parts occasionally, but often get blamed for plant damage caused by voles or white-footed mice or house mice. The habit of moles to quickly open and repair damaged runways provides an advantage when trapping. When a mole encounters soil blocking a passage, it immediately pushes its way into the blocked area, reopens it, and continues on its way. Specially designed mole traps take advantage of this habit. On average, no more than three to five moles live on an acre. Two or three moles is a more common number. This means trapping moles is a very plausible way to control this animal. There are three types of mole traps available and all work equally well if used properly. They're the harpoon trap, the scissor jaw trap, and choker loop trap. The harpoon trap has sharp spikes that spear the mole as it passes. The scissor jaw trap kills by grabbing the animal. The choker loop trap has a loop that tightens around the mole's body. Traps can be purchased at local hardware, agriculture supply, feed and seed stores, or online companies. Where you place your trap and when you place the trap are key elements to successful trapping. Most traps should be placed on surface burrows. Remember, surface burrows are used more actively during the spring and fall and immediately after a warm rain. Trapping during these periods increases the likelihood of catching the animal. To be successful, you must find an active burrow. Active burrows will be relatively straight runways that may connect two systems of foraging activity. Burrows that end abruptly have probably been abandoned. A burrow system that is highly branched and turning back on itself is probably a foraging burrow and may also be abandoned. Burrows that have numerous mouse holes or breaks are probably not being used. To find a frequently used burrow, tramp down with your foot on each runway. You may want to mark these areas so you can easily find them later. Within 12 to 24 hours, active runways will be repaired. Then you can put a trap in this location. Traps are generally more effective if set in the late afternoon or early evening between 4 and 6 p.m., coinciding with the activity period of the mole. If traps need to be relocated, wait until after the morning activity period. Level and lightly pack down the runway ridge with your foot. Set the trap with the safety catch in place so that it straddles the active runway and is inserted deeply enough to prevent recoil when the trap is sprung. The trigger pan should touch the flattened ridge. Release the safety catch, allowing the spikes to be forced into the runway, or raise and release the spikes several times to make holes in the soil for the spikes to enter. Set the trap and leave it alone. Do not disturb any other part of the mole's runway system. Put a small bucket over the trap if children or pets are present. If the trap has not captured a mole in three days, the trap was placed in the wrong location or the runway was disturbed too much. The trap may have been improperly set and the mole detected it. The mole changed its habits and was not actively using the burrow or you captured all the moles in the general area. If you have an ongoing problem with moles, you may need to set traps during most of the summer. Trapping moles takes patience and persistence.